Medical education in this school is a disgrace. The year was 1995. We were all clueless. Cindy Crawford was breaking hearts, and Billy Blank's Tybo was kicking into high gear. Remember, you got the power. The fitness craze was born out of the martial artist's love of one man. I went and got the theme song to Rocky and put that theme song on and got it in my basement and I started moving to the music, right? Next thing you know, within two or three minutes, I got cardiovascular tired. Pump it, pump it. Why do you think Tybo has stood the test of time? You know, when workouts come out, they become trends. And I believe the Tybo didn't come out as a trend. Tybo came out as a lifestyle change. It kind of changed the whole fitness world. It made the whole fitness world go wow. When Tybo first came out, it was it's so more DVDs than the movie Titanic. You're the king of the world. That showed me that Tybo was more than an exercise. It was a workout that really touched the hearts of people. Next up, get out your Walkman and crank up some Madonna. It is time to jazzercise. Think Jazzercise got shot in the 80s like JR? No, they're still going strong with over 32,000 weekly classes around the world. I think it just has evolved through the times and kept up with what is current. It does, we have new music. Every age group still comes and does it with us. Last on our list. Do it again. To the right, left leg. The Jane Fonda workout. Does it work? Uh. Look at her, she's 77 years old. Excuse me? Her first workout video hit your VCR back in 1982. Press, press, press. And she's sold 72 million ever since. Some historians say her video made VCRs mainstream. We are sweating it out retro style on the to-do list.